Hello again, fellow Gears. <laughs> What's up? It's Maticon bringing you another Gears 5 tutorial. This one is on Dell's skill cards. So we're going to jump right into this one. Let's do this. So Dell's ultimate of summoning two trackers is nice to have in case you're about to go down or be overrun by a couple of enemies. And his passive is like all the current engineer classes. He gets a discount on fortifications and has fortification carry speed as well. Now on to what skill cards I like to use on Dell. The five cards I use the most are Healing Repair, Best Friends, Overclocked Locker, Efficient Fabrication, and Ingenuity. Let's look at all of Dell's skill cards in more detail now. Starting out with Healing Repair. Repairing provides 3% stim. This stim card is so great when leveled up. The hits you can sponge on inconceivable master difficulty is amazing while repairing damaged fortifications. However, if you're doing a lower level difficulty run, you could substitute this card for overload or best friends or efficient sentry or any other good skill card that you really like. But having this gold stim card at level five is phenomenal. Moving on to best friends. When near jack, repair speed is increased by 50% while repair cost is reduced by 25%. This is by far one of the most underrated skill cards of Dell. Simply put, if you are running with a jack nearby, this paired with the ingenuity skill card is great to have due to how super fast you can repair. Having both of those repairing cards together allows you to take decoys to level four and not have to repair them forever and ever and ever. And you can easily take your MD sentries up to level four as well for more firepower and you'll still be able to repair all these fortifications really quick. Best friends also really helps if you are going to be skipping waves on your run to speed things up. As well as it allows you as an engineer to shoot and kill enemies during the active 50 waves rather than just spending 50 waves for just repairing things. However, if you're on a run without a jack, I'll usually substitute this with overload for more sentry damage, or maybe even efficient sentry to save some money on refilling sentry ammo. Or of course, you could substitute this with whatever other skill card you may prefer, but I believe best friends is great to have on when possible. On to overclock locker. Weapon lockers built by Dell make weapons reload 25% faster. I believe having overclock on all lockers is one of the most important skill cards to have on for each horde run, because you must give your damage or DPS classes the tools to succeed for killing. The only time that I'll take off Dell's overclock card is if we are doing a two engineer run with Baird, and Baird has his global overclock skill card on, which then I'll usually substitute it for overload, but I can't say enough on how much I truly love overclock and what a must have it is for me on every locker for each and every horde run. Moving on to efficient fabrication. Initial fortification construction cost reduced by 30%. This is a fantastic skill card of Dell's. This helps you get your base set up a lot faster and with everything set up faster, that in turn helps speed up your horde match. And we all like faster horde runs, right? With it leveled up, your first five fortifications you can buy are like a forge on wave two for 6,000. Your first weapons lockers you purchase are only 3,000, et cetera, et cetera. And with saving money or power, other players can start upgrading their perks faster as well. For me, this skill card never comes off or gets substituted for anything. I can't say enough about how much I like having this skill card on for Dell. On to ingenuity. Repair speed increased by 50% while repair cost is reduced by 25%. This is another must have skill card for me on every horde run because it's Dell's or the engineer's job to keep all of your fortifications maintained and repaired, right? And with ingenuity, it makes repairing cheaper, faster, and more efficient. So this card doesn't come off or get substituted for anything else for me and don't leave horde without it. On to epic score boost, 30% increased team score in horde and 25% time bonus in escape. Unless you're going for a high score run, there isn't really a need to use this card. Moving on to overload. Repairing a fortification to full health increases its damage by 10%. This is a great skill card to have on if you're planning to build multiple sentries and with it leveled up all the way to five, you certainly seem to notice the extra damage that your sentries will do. And it also seems like it helps your run to go a little bit faster and we all like faster horde runs, right? If we are doing a two engineer run with Baird and Baird has his global overclock skill card on, I might substitute overclock for overload, or if we're doing a lower difficulty run, I'll maybe use overload instead of Dell's stim card. Again though, overload is definitely a very good skill card I like to use whenever possible. 
On to armor plating. Fortifications with more than 75% health take 30% less damage. When I was a lower level and a low re-up, I used this skill card for a bit, but I've since grown to not be a very big fan of using armor plating or reinforced fabrication. It just takes too long to repair fortifications, and with a decent team with high bleed damage, you shouldn't be losing a ton of fortifications anyways. Plus, I like shooting and killing enemies while the waves are active rather than just spending all my time as an engineer repairing for 50 waves, so I'd highly recommend when you are able to, to wing off using any type of extra fortification health whenever possible. On to custom robotics. Increases damage and active effects by 25% on DB weapons. This affects guns like the Enforcer, Overkill, etc. If you're a low level Dell or if you're boosting him in a game that already has a high level engineer, this skill card combined with the robotic porting skill card can be fun in a different experimenting type of way of playing Dell, but not something I'd really use on a solo engineer run or on higher difficulties. On to efficient sentry. The cost to refill sentry ammo is reduced by 50%. This is a pretty good skill card to have on when you're lower level or it can also be fairly useful if you don't have a jack on your run because it can definitely save you a bit of power. But we usually run with a jack on almost all of our runs and I'd rather use the best friend skill card to, to speed up and save time on all of your repairs instead of just saving power on refilling sentry ammo. Now onto long range resistance, reduces ballistic damage by 30% from long range re weapons. Dell's gold stim card healing repair is by far superior to this damage reduction card because stim is defensive to all damage types, not just long range ballistic damage. So if your Dell is lower level, you could try this, but there are better cards to have on for sure. Onto flow, all damage reduced by 30% when repairing. This card is okay if your Dell is low level or if you don't have another skill card to put on, but Dell's gold healing and repairing skill card, as I've mentioned, is by far superior and the better card you want to have on because Stim stays with you even when you aren't repairing and with Flow, the second you stop repairing is the second this card stops working, which isn't that useful if as soon as you stop repairing, you go down. So for me, stick with healing repair as opposed to Flow for sure. On to Reinforced Fabrication, 150% increased health on fortifications built by Dell. When I was a lower level and a lower re-up, I used to like and use Reinforced Fabrication a lot, but I've since grown not to really like it anymore at all. It just takes far too long to repair even the simplest of fortifications, like a level 2 barrier. With a good team and a high level bleed damage, I'd rather lose a few fortifications over the course of a game than to spend half a wave plus repairing an individual single fortification. And if you pull a Swalmacker Matriarch on boss waves, they're going to possibly wreck your fortifications regardless if you have Fort Health on or not. Plus, without any type of Fort Health on, people can often seem to forget how much faster your fortifications repair. I also like to shoot and kill enemies during the waves as much as possible when engineering, and when you use Reinforced Fabrication, you're usually stuck doing nothing but repairing each wave, with very little chance to get on the killing. So I'd highly recommend to try at some point as an engineer to get away from using any type of fortification health whenever possible. Alright, on to robotic porting. 90% reduced recoil on the Enforcer, Overkill, Trishot, Salvo, and Embar. Unless you're low level, as mentioned, this paired with custom robotics can be fun to mess around with and experiment with for something different to do on a run if you're not the primary engineer or if you're on a lower difficulty run but I feel that there are other more useful cards you can run besides this. On to Rootkit. Repairing fortifications speeds up the ultimate cooldown by two seconds for each second of repair. Dell's Tracker Ball Ultimate is convenient to have to possibly get out of a sticky situation, but not really needed on a frequent every way basis. So if you're really low level and don't have another card to put on, then you could run this, but beyond that, I feel there's much better cards to have on. On to score boost, 15% increased team score in Horde and 15% time bonus in Escape. Unless you're too low a level to use any other card, like mentioned with Epic Score Boost, if you're not doing a high score run, this isn't really going to do much for you at all. Alright, and now with all the skill cards breakdown done, I have some gameplay footage to show you more about best friends and repair time speeds. 
Okay, so this is about the distance that you can be away from Jack and still get the benefit of the best friend skill card, which as you can see is pretty far. However, the best friends does seem to work a little better the closer you are to Jack. Thank you to Dr. Schwazi for this one and Sniper Legend Mike for his help. Okay, so here is a level four decoy with reinforced fabrication skill card on and ingenuity repair speed on. And as you're going to see, this is going to take a while to repair. Um, far too long for me, but uh, I don't have a stopwatch on the clock that I can put up. But I can tell you, timing it on my cell phone, it does take about 32 to 33 seconds from, you know, yellow dead all the way back to full health, which to me is far, far, far too long to repair. I'd rather not have reinforced fabrication and just use ingenuity with no four health on because everything repairs so much faster. So here is a, another destroyed level four decoy. Um, and we're repairing this without reinforced fabrication and without armor plating. So no fortification health and just ingenuity. And as you're gonna see, it takes about 16 seconds ish or so um which is still a lot faster than having four health on and it taking you know 32 33 seconds that's for sure now what you'll see here is the same level four decoy destroyed no fortification health but this time we're running ingenuity and best friends and with the combo of ingenuity and best friends you'll see that this only takes about 13 seconds to repair so it beats just having ingenuity by two and a half to three seconds or so um, which doesn't sound like a lot, but if you're on a big build with 10, 15, 20 plus fortifications on a big map, having those few extra seconds is amazing, especially like if you're trying to skip waves or speed it up at all, that's for sure. And one more thing to mention that is very important, and that is that you should play this game the way you want to play it. So please don't think you have to run exactly the same cards as Rerun, because we always embrace to put your own personal spin on everything and to make it yours and to make it better, because it's always great to see different setups and new ideas, that's for sure. But with that said, that concludes this Dell Skill Card tutorial, and as always, enjoy it, everybody. Thank you.